Howdy, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today on Skillet Sundays, we're gonna be going over my artisan bread in a Dutch oven. So all you need for this recipe is four ingredients, yeast, salt, water, and flour. You'll need a mixing bowl, and you'll need a Dutch oven as well. I go for the two quart Dutch oven for this recipe. It tends to give you a better, more round loaf than the bigger ones. If all you have is something bigger, it'll work just fine. I'm also gonna go over how I make this bread even better by adding in some other ingredients. I like to do a rosemary parmesan. It's really nice and savory. And then also do a jalapeno cheddar for something a little bit more spicy to make with sandwiches or something like that. So really you can cater this bread any way you want. You can make it a sweeter bread, you can do savory kind of how I do it, or you can even do a spicy bread. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get the ingredients into the bowl. So we're gonna need three cups of flour. Next we'll add the yeast. We're gonna want one teaspoon of yeast. Now we're gonna do one and three quarters teaspoon of salt. And so for this one, we're gonna add some fresh rosemary and some Parmesan cheese. get an idea of how much I put in there. All right, so now we'll go to the cheese. So this is a half pound here. I don't know if I'll quite use all of it though. So for the cheese, we kind of just, you know, get some chunks off of it here. kind of see the size that I'm doing here. All right, so we're gonna add all this to the bowl. And then I just like to kind of mix that up a little bit before I add the water. So now we're gonna take a cup and a half of water. And this is just room temperature water here. And I'll just take a spatula and just mix all that in. This dough is gonna be pretty sticky, um, so don't worry if it's too sticky about adding more uh, flour. It's supposed to be pretty sticky. So you can kind of see the consistency here. So now what you have to do is you're gonna put some plastic wrap over this and you'll wait about 12 to 18 hours before you cook it. So it's been about 16 hours that the bread's been sitting. So we'll take a look, you can kind of see the consistency of it. It's gonna be pretty sticky. So what you'll wanna do is take some flour. And I like to get it on the parchment paper a little bit. And then pour a little bit over the top of the bread to help get it out. And I'll put some in my hands because it is very sticky. And so while you're doing this, you'll want to preheat your oven to 450. And while it's heating, you want to put your cast iron skillet, or sorry, your Dutch oven in there. I'm using a two quart Dutch oven. So I'm a little more flour on my hands. 
and you'll just want to form it into a ball. You don't need to mess with it too much. Once your oven hits 450, you'll go ahead and take your Dutch oven out. Take the top off there. So what I like to do is take a little Pam and spray the bottom. That'll help make sure it doesn't stick. It'll also get you a nice crispy bottom. All right, so we're gonna take this bread that we just formed into a ball, we'll just set it in there. So what I like to do also is I'll spray a little bit over the top and then take a little bit of pepper. And then a little bit of salt on the top. So now you remove the lid and you place back in the oven for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes in the oven, it should be ready. And so you may have to go around the edges with a knife to get the cheese that's gonna stuck to the sides. This bread's perfect for making breakfast sandwiches, normal sandwiches, or even just dipping in some olive oil. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content. Thanks!